are struggling, our brothers, our sisters in Palestine today, we pray for them, we reach out to them, we believe that there is injustice being perpetrated against them, we believe that it is wrong to stop water, food, drink from people, from human beings, it's wrong to stop that from animals. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, says, a man, and in another narration, there is a woman as well, achieved paradise by quenching the thirst of an animal. Imagine what would happen by quenching the thirst of a human. And imagine the opposite. If a person was punished because they stopped water from a dog, imagine what punishment would be served to a person who stops water from human beings, not just one, but millions of them. And we claim to believe in the Torah. Which Torah are you talking about? We claim that we follow the Talmud. Which Talmud are you talking about? Is there a verse in the Talmud or Torah that teaches you to block and stop water from animals? from human beings, which is far more important. Do you not fear the day you're going to return to your maker and mine? May Allah grant us ease. So we care. If you're a true believer, you care for humanity at large. When Allah speaks about saving lives in the Quran, He doesn't say a Muslim. He says, whoever saves a single life, be it Muslim, non-Muslim, whoever it may be from wherever in the world, you save a single life. It's as though you've saved entire humanity.